Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will see another application for our capacitor bank that we made in a previous video together with the spark gap switch. What we will do is to discharge all the energy of the capacitor bank into this flat coil in order to demonstrate lens low. What will happen is that this little piece of aluminum that we will put here will become a projectile due to the forces generated by the electromagnetic effects and lens low. Let me explain what is happening here. When we discharge the capacitor bank into the coil, a very large current flows through the coil and generates a magnetic field. The magnetic field starts to grow very rapidly and it cuts the conductor which is our aluminum plate and as you may know when a magnetic field flows through a conductor it induces a current in it. So this current that is flowing in the aluminum plate creates its own magnetic field. However, the lens law says that the current induced by the original field generates another field that opposes the original field. So it is a situation as if we had two magnets with the same polarity in both phases. They will repel each other. So when the capacitor bank discharges, the piece of aluminum goes away because it is repelled by the coil. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. This is the coil where I will discharge all the energy of the capacitor bank. It is magnet wire, 15 turns, and the size is uh, 12 or 14, I think and uh, it is fixed to this plexiglass plate with epoxy resin. Here I have the equipment to make the test. This is my lab power supply. It's a normal power supply, low voltage. This fits the high voltage power supply or capacitor charger. And here we have our capacitor bank. It is 850 microfarads at 990 volts. Our capacitor charger can charge from 100 to a little bit more than 1000 volts. And here we have the spark gap switch and the flat coil where we'll, uh, we will discharge the energy of the capacitor bank. Uh, I have separate videos for the capacitor charger, the uh, capacitor bank, and the spark gap switch. In the description of this video, I have links to those other videos. Let's try first charging our capacitor bank to 150 volts. Now let's see at 250 volts. That was about three feet in height. Let's now try at 500 volts.
That was very powerful, it went right to the ceiling and bounced back at high speed. Let's make one more test to see what happens with a piece of aluminum foil. You can see how the forces generated on the material made some wrinkles in the foil. Okay, so there you have one more application of our capacitor bank demonstrating the effects of lens law. I hope you liked this video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.